Hello and welcome to this week's Modern Toy Fair Reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Mezco 112 Gambit action figure. And I'm just going to get right into it, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with just a quick look at how the figure turned out. Uh, if you look at his face, he does have the 5 o'clock shadow. His eyes are kind of black with those like red pupils. The mask does have some molding around on the edges. Uh, you do have quite a bit of detail in there. More importantly, though, his hair is just absolutely incredible. It is so wavy. It looks like it's just flowing through the wind at all times. Even like when you spin around and even on the little bit of molding on the back of the head. Um, it really turned out nice. If you look at his collarbone area, you do have that kind of little armor plate that goes over it. That's normally a blue, but they kind of have a black with blue outline. He's into his chest armor, which is that pink. It's, it's definitely... Feels like a hard plastic, but I can't really tell. It doesn't have a give a whole lot. Uh, a lot of detailing in it, though, and it's definitely uh, got a lot of sculpting in it. The jacket, they did a fantastic job. Like, this looks just like it should, like, from the show and the comics. Like, you've got the pleating. It does have a bit of a wire, so it kind of can be flowing, but we'll definitely talk a lot more about that later on in the review. If you look down into his, uh, on his sleeves, you'll notice it does have little buckles and stuff, and then his gloves, if I can get it to, let me, see, let me focus this in here, there we go, so you'll notice it does have the little knuckle padding, and then it does have some padding on the back of the hand as well, and if we go down, see his X-Men logo on his belt, but then we move on to his legs, you'll see he does have that kind of Mezco flare armor to the, the pants, do you have the pink stripes on the side. They're a little more metallic, which is really cool. They kind of shine in the light. But speaking of shining in the light, these boots are incredible. Like, they're like a powder blue. They look like they came right from the comics. They shine more than most of the things on the, the figures. So they stand out. Definitely have a metallic, like, metal look to them for armor. Even down on, like, the shoes themselves. They, they really turned out nice. Overall, this figure, like, if you can, can't look at it without instantly thinking about the old X-Men theme song, there's something wrong with you. Like, even now, I'm just like... Okay, so before I get into articulation, I took off his jacket just to make it a little easier. You will see he does have more of those, like, armor plating detailing on the arms, and then even, like, the stripes, and then even his gloves have a little bit of more detailing on the wrists, which is really nice. Um, and it kind of goes around the back as well. Um, but now on to the articulation. So he does have the standard kind of ball joint at the neck and collarbone. Goes all the way up pretty far down. He does have quite a bit of tilt to the right and to the left. And of course it goes 360 degrees all the way around as well. As far as the arms, you can get, you can technically get more than 90 degrees, but it doesn't always stay there. Um, more new though is he has a butterfly joint, which is uh, kind of becoming a more common thing with Mezco, which is really nice. He does have the standard bicep swivel. You also have the double jointed elbows, and then the wrist pegs. You do still have the standard like ball joint. However, the like kind of bottoms of his gloves kind of restrict how far forward and backwards you can go, but they are still there, so you can kind of work with them a little bit. As far as his, like, ab crunch, it's, it's borderline non-existent just because of the armor. Like, no matter what I do, that armor does not give. Like, you cannot get very much forward or back out of this thing. I have seen people take it off and get a lot more articulation out of it because of the fact that the armor isn't there and he still has a, a standard body, but I've even seen some people say they're going to cut, a, like, a slit through it so it can bend a little more, but... Who knows? So outward with the legs, you can get pretty far. Not quite 90 degrees, though. Um, you do get a decent amount forward. Not a whole lot back. You do have the double-jointed knees, as always. The thigh swivel, of course. And then with the ankles, they do twist, but they don't get a whole lot of pivot. So you can get a decent amount down. Nothing crazy. Uh, virtually no up just because of the way the armor on the boots is. Uh, when you kind of tilt it, you get a lot more out than you do in. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's enough that you can pose him. And it makes it so he's a little more stable when you have him standing in different positions. So, 
it's good enough for me, especially with just how fantastic this figure turned out. Alright, now for some accessories. So first up we do have the alternative head. Um, this head is significantly better than the other one in my opinion, just because he's got that like signature gambit smirk. Just looks like he's just being a jackass when you look at this head. It's absolutely fantastic. You still have that amazing flowing hair. I think this one's a little more like flowy than the other one. I'd have to put them side by side to really tell. Uh, you can get better look at the molding on the back of the head there. Some of the, like, the molding and lines in this mask. Next up we do have his bow staff. The bow staff does have a lot of detailing in it considering it's just a really long stick. Uh, some people have reported that theirs are snapping pretty easily. It's got a little bit of a flex to it, but it's still pretty thin, so I wouldn't test it. Uh, I would just say be very careful when you're posing with it or when you're putting it in his hands. Uh, speaking of hands, though, so we're going to move on. We do have these kind of open hands where like almost like he's letting go of a card or just like waving or throwing something. You've got more of that padding on the knuckles in the back. You've got the, the fingers missing on two of the, uh, on each glove. Uh, I will say this, though. I did get a defect. Mine, I only have one of the gripping hands for the bow staff. You see a lot of detail there, but I only got one. So my left hand that I got was just an additional one of the card-holding hands. So I'll go over it here in a couple seconds, but he does have these like cards you can put in his hand and as you can see like that's how it's supposed to look well i've got two left hands of those so it kind of makes it a little awkward posing him with his bow staff but i can still make it work so it's not terrible uh, but here you can see they aren't quite the same a little bit of an angle and not the same like hand hole so it's a little disappointing but what can you do and the next hand is this kind of energy effect throwing hand so you can see like the card and all that energy flowing from it as it's like leaving his hand it's got like the two fingers like he's flicking it it's a really cool little addition i definitely like it i've posed it with it posed him with it a few times which is it looks really nice i'm um, staying with the energy effects though we do have this three card energy effect kind of like the three bullet effects with the guns uh it's a very it's very pink and translucent it looks absolutely fantastic the molding is incredible he does have this kind of like open letting go hand one thing I'm noticing though is both, all these are his left hand. Is this gambit left hand all this time, and I just never noticed. That's that that's insane. Uh, I do wish the cards were aimed a little bit of like a lower direction, just because it kind of makes it awkward, like with the way he's throwing them. Um, so he does come with these little energy powered up cards. You've got a single one, and then you do have a full hand one right here. You can see it's got like the energy like coming off it. It's completely translucent and pink. Looks really cool. So there's about five cards there. It's pretty thin. Um, you do also get normal versions of these cards. So you've got this tiny little ace of hearts, and then you also have a hand of like fully paint decoed. And I can't really tell because it's so tiny, but to me, it looks like he's got a full house. So it looks like game it's ready to win some poker. Uh, moving on to his jacket, like we talked about earlier, you've got that pleading throughout the, the sides and the neck, and you've got the wire. The wire, like, it's not too crazy. It's enough to support itself, and, like, it's very flowy, and it just looks real natural. Um, and then you have those straps on the side I talked about earlier. And then on the back here, you'll notice... Let me actually, let me see if I can get this focus a little better. He does have, like, a normal trench coat where it has, like, the belt loops, and the belt goes around, but the belt is sewn down, so that way it stays, which is fine. I mean, it makes sense, especially so that way it's not in the way like on some of the coats they have but it's it's definitely something not something where you could wrap it around him very easily and then it does kind of it is pretty ex, ex, like expands pretty far uh overall this is probably one of the best jackets they've released from mesco in my opinion just the detailing on it alone uh next we do have the stand which is just the, the x-men logo i do love that they put the yellow and blue in a matte finish with the black and that glossy so like the light just only reflects off that uh it definitely turns out really nice of course you have the poseable arm which is very sturdy can definitely support just about any figure that you want to have floating in the air and finally the little accessory baggie all right and last up we do have the box 
So you do have, it's all black, you got the pink gambit at the top, pink X logo, and then the 112 logo and Marvel logo at the bottom. You do have the gambit logo here on the side in that pink. You've got 112, Mezco Toys. If you spin it around the back, you have a picture of him and all the accessories, and then some different pictures imposed at the bottom. Uh, bottom of the box, you have all those, please don't eat this on there. You've got more logos on the side, and then the 112 logo on the top. Overall, I mean, it's pretty standard for Mezco. I definitely like how good the uh, pink pops, though. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode. This figure is absolutely incredible. If you haven't picked it up yet and you're an X-Men fan, it's 100% worth it. Go grab it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you enjoy some of the figure photography at the end of the videos, check out our Instagram and Twitter. Most of it does get put there. Along with more, it's at Modern Toy Fair. Also, make sure to check out our giveaway that we have going on right now. You have a chance to win a NECA Ultimate Metalhead action figure, and all you have to do is share a post and subscribe to the channel. So make sure to do that and uh, check it out, and we also have another prize that we're giving away along with that. So make sure that you don't miss out. If you'd like to support the channel, please hit the little link below for tpublic.com. That is my store on tpublic's website. Got all sorts of different shirts, mugs, computer cases, phone cases, pillows, all sorts of stuff with our logos on it, different designs I've worked up. You can even get masks if you need them. All sorts of different cool stuff, so take a look at that. I greatly appreciate it. And make sure to check out every week here on Mondays with Modern Toy Fair reviews. And Fridays, me and Jamar do the weekly news with Modern Toy Fair news. So hopefully we'll see you next week, same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching.